but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every single day in October. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. Today is this Game of Thrones White Walker. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I wanted to use a technique that I had never seen before. If you've been watching this channel this Halloween, you'll know that the product that has come in super handy for me has been Model Magic. To see how I sculpted, applied, painted, and styled this White Walker makeup, stay tuned. I started by working off of my face cast. There are a ton of tutorials out there teaching you how to make a face cast. I followed my own version, which I'm not gonna teach you how to do because you can just do these on any face whatsoever. You can use a styrofoam head. I would recommend using a face cast because then you know it's going to fit your face 100%. But if you don't have it, don't stress it. Just do the best that you can. Using a reference photo of a white walker and model magic, I place the base layer down where the cheeks pop out so that the brows furrow. There's also a more prominent chin. Also with the reference photo I used, he has a huge nose that has flared nostrils. If you don't know, Model Magic is like a kid's play toy. It's like a Play-Doh like substance that dries into a foamy texture that's super light. I learned about using Model Magic from Jordan Hans. She's a genius to use a product like this and it has made things so much easier for me this Halloween. I would recommend putting an entire base layer of the Model Magic down in a thin coat over the whole face and then working off of that. Since when I applied it, the little stringy long spaghetti strings ended up sort of having some casualties and having some pieces fall off. So if you put a whole base layer down in all the areas that it's going to touch your face, I feel that it would be much better looking in the end. Then rolling about 2,349 million little strings of long spaghetti out of Model Magic, I place them starting from the lip extending out in the shape that they curve on the face. I'm using sculpting tools for clay that I got off of Amazon, but you can be resourceful. You can use bobby pins, pens, pencils, brushes, whatever you have that will work for the sculpt. The correct way to do this entire thing is to make a mold out of clay, cast it, and make a proper prosthetic. Now, 99.9% .9 of you aren't going to do that for Halloween. If you were looking to be a white walker but wanted to do the prosthetic route but don't have a ton of time, money, or resources, this was surprisingly fast. I sculpted it in about six hours and it took around an hour and a half to apply it. Now I know that sounds crazy long, but honestly compared to making a real cast, that's not so bad. Again, I could explain each step to you, how to roll out each piece, how to sculpt the entire mask, how to do every little nuance and how to do the chin and the cheek and the face, but the most important step that I can show you and tell you is to use a reference image. Me explaining it isn't going to be as good as you just doing it based off of what you see a White Walker's face looks like and what it will look like on your face. This is far from perfect. It looks pretty janky in certain areas. There are some spots that it, I'm not happy with, but you know what? It worked. It worked and I am all for doing what works. I add a layer of plastic wrap over that so it doesn't dry out in the time that I need to add details. Here you can see me adding little divots into the lips and the little sausages that we rolled together make them look a little more cohesive by sort of blending them in together. It also makes running the sculpting tools over it easier because it doesn't drag in the foamy model magic. After the full sculpt is done, I let it dry overnight and voila, you've got a mold. I also made some little chest prosthetics doing this exact same technique but laying it down on a flat piece of plastic wrap and then just sculpting it out the same way that I'm doing the face. I did not use like a neck mold or anything. I just sort of hoped that it would work. And it did, it didn't work great, but it, it got the job done. And again, I'm all about getting jobs done. I would recommend painting the prosthetic off of your face. I used one color for the entire mask and that's gray alcohol activated paint. The reason I used alcohol activated paint is because it can be thinned down into an almost completely sheer so you can get a really light wash of color. However, it can also be made to be quite opaque if you need it to, you just use less alcohol. You can see here I'm wearing a bald cap already. I'm not going to show you how I applied my bald cap because there are about 47,000 tutorials online and 
look how mine looks. It's janky as hell because I used an old one that I had used on a previous tutorial because I knew this one was going to get ruined and why would I want to use my new fresh one for that? I cut my prosthetic into pieces to apply them separately. If you're going to do a Halloween party or something, there are a few things I would recommend. First, what I suggest before with doing the base layer of model magic down so the strings don't fall off. Secondly, to apply it in patches like this so you can eat and talk in the mask. I did the forehead and cheeks as one piece and the nose and chin separately. I used a layer of Prosade adhesive to keep it all in place, all over my face. Prosade is ready to apply when it's clear and dry, so it's easy to figure out. Applying Prosade or liquid latex to your neck is not recommended by me because you may not know it, but you have about 8 million hairs on your neck. You do. I'm making up that number, but it feels about that much when you are peeling it off and it's ripping everyone out slowly and torturously. And I removed it properly. I removed it with isopropyl Miristate going slowly and peeling gently. And you think it will not hurt, but I can promise you that it, it's, it's horrifying and made me want to scream and cry. Then I take fresh model magic that is not dried down and fill in where the gaps are the same way that we made the mask by applying a base layer down and then layers of model magic in little rolled out sausages and painted with a dark gray alcohol paint. It totally works fine to use fresh model magic. It's not necessarily the best way to do it. However, it stays and it, it worked. So I do what works again. It really just blends the prosthetic in back further. It doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to go all the way back on your head, but if you did want this to look the best, I would go back as absolutely far as you can and I would also make sure to blend your bald cap better than I did. See, look, I'm eating a pistachio. You definitely can eat in this. You definitely can't eat a burger in this. There's just no way. Then using my hair straightener and white crepe wool hair that I got from Amazon, I stipple on Prozade adhesive all over my hairline and apply thin sparse white walker hair again using my reference image. I apply black and white paint in the inner rim of my eye holes to make sure that it looks a little more cohesive and then tragedy struck. My God. I just spilled an entire bottle of Prosade. If you didn't know, Prosade is the stickiest shit in the entire world and doesn't come off with anything but isopropyl mirror state, so it's fucking great. After all the crepe hair was applied, my mask was done. I then applied Prosade adhesive all over my chin and then using that same crepe wool, applied a beard. I also then popped in some blue contact lenses from CamoEyes.com. These are the cartoony blue pop art looking ones. White Walkers have blue sclera lenses, but I don't have those. And honestly, I don't even think I could put in scleras if my life depended on it. I don't think my eyes would stay open long enough. I'm not in full costume here, but if you were to do this, I would wear the traditional White Walker armor and get better contacts, but that's it. I hope you guys all like this look. I know it's not the professional way to do it, but it works nonetheless. I tried two different application techniques before landing on this one, one by just painting on the White Walker and the second one by trying to do some weird pop art White Walker, which did not pan out. You can you can tell what I'm going for. Yeah. You can tell I'm trying to be a White Walker, but I don't look like one. And but it's, you want it to look, you want it to be a good... I will not post this. Yeah. Mm -mm. I can't. Is it just one of the, it just isn't working? No! Wow. <sighs> you ever just have those days where everything you do looks like shit? And I'm like giving it time too. I'm like, okay, just keep going. Just keep going. It might pull together. It might pull together. Never pulls together. <laughs> because I'm trying to follow the picture exactly, like to make it like almost to be able to like do a side by side one. And it literally looks so bad that there's no way they could ever be construed as the same thing. And that's it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to tune in for the rest of October. I apologize, but I'm going to be missing Friday and Saturday's videos because as you're watching this, I am in New York. 
And because of videos like the White Walker and the Demogorgon, which I just uploaded, I just don't have the time to do all these videos. And I apologize. I committed to 31, but I did my absolute best. And I love you guys. And I thank you for sticking with me. And don't worry, there's going to be a lot more tutorials coming after Halloween. For the remainder of October, tune in every day. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If there's a tutorial coming out, it'll be up then. If you do decide to recreate this look or any of the ones that I've done, make sure to tag me on Instagram so I can see your stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video.